Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to do this really cool kind of, I don't know, I didn't think of what I was going to call this. It's kind of like a dark uh, purple, but kind of bright. I'm going to show you how to lay your burgundy and purple to kind of get a really bright, cool effect. And I kind of mixed a burgundy shadow in there too to kind of brighten up the purple so it makes it kind of glowy. And I kind of like that effect when purple, when I use purples, I like it to kind of pop. If you notice, I do have kind of a different background. Um, I'm going to do an update video soon. I'm going to IMATS next week, so I'm going to post a video before that talking about all that. Um, if you guys are going, I'd love to hear about it. So I'd love to know, and um, I think I'm going to go Saturday. I don't know. I'm going with Lorraine, the current custom on YouTube, so I'm so excited. Um, we're taking a little trip out to LA, mostly for shopping and sightseeing. We're going to hit IMATS too, so um, I'll let you know on the update video what day we're going to be there because I'm not really sure, but I'm going to post that before we leave. Um, and anyways, about the, the about the whole background, um, I'm going to talk about this more. I got a new hat. You know, y'all know that I moved uh, back in March and um, I haven't really shown you anything with the house yet. I'm kind of waiting. I don't know if I'm going to do that. I might do that on my other channel eventually. Um, it takes a long time to get everything fixed. <laughs> we had a bunch of extra bedrooms in this house, so this is kind of like my little girly room and then I realized that even though we already have a guest bedroom it's nice to have another place for someone to sleep if they stayed uh, so I turned you know I got a little little bed little couchy bed type thing and um, I haven't put my chest back there I have a pretty mirrored thingy back there that's gonna be real pretty um, anyways that's what's going on back there you know if you care but I'm gonna talk about that more and all that kind of stuff an update video because I haven't done that in a long time and just talked to you guys and you know said what was up so um anyways that's what's happening and um, keep watching and I'll show you how to do it. Right, the first thing that you want to do is apply a burgundy eyeshadow base and my favorite my very favorite one well it's pretty much the only one I have anyways is the MAC Artifact Paint Pot and I'm going to apply that with a brush um, this is my Sigma it's a E25 they changed their numbering so I don't even know it. I'm just going to show you what the brush looks like. Um, you can also use a flatter brush. I've used that before for this and um, it, it works really well too. But I find that sometimes this is just quicker to use this brush. You don't really need to go along the lower lash line with this color. Then I'm taking this color by MAC called Satellite Dreams which is kind of a medium purple. And a lot of times you wouldn't think to put purple over like a burgundy-ish shade like this. But it really brings it out and it makes it look really, really pretty. So I'm just going to pack the color on. And you can kind of see how it kind of brightens up the purple. The burgundy kind of shows through the purple and makes the purple look kind of almost warmer. But kind of a lot brighter at the same time. So you just want to kind of cover where you put that bait and take a little brush like this and go up underneath your lashes and just kind of connect that color. You don't want it to be too intense down there, but you do want a little bit of that soft purple shade. Alright, for this outer corner, I'm going to use a very, very dark purple. And this color is signed sealed and I don't know, I don't think it's still available. Um, any very dark purple will do. Um, I know that MAC has some dark matte purples. Any dark matte purple, seriously. You could even um, use black if you were very careful to blend it out well, but I'm using a very dark matte purple. And with this brush, you just kind of, I'm using like a little pointed pencil brush. Just want to kind of take it into this outer corner and kind of blend it in. And take it lightly into your crease. Blend it in. When I say that, I mean just kind of sweep it inward, you know. You know. And then with that same brush and just a little bit more color on the tip, connect it downward to your lower lash line. Just slightly inward, not even a quarter of the way in. If you want some more soft color, you can take this shade, which is called Star Violet. It's one of my very favorite MAC shades, and I don't really use it that often. And um, take a very fluffy blending brush like this. It's kind of like a 224-ish brush. Get that color on the tip of it. Kind of knock off the excess. And kind of follow that like right along the crease. 
kind of sweep it up just slightly. It'll kind of bring out more of the burgundy as well. And then of course go back with this brush and blend over it. Alright, then I'm going to take this color by MAC. It's called Gesso. It's a white matte shade. Be careful with this though when you're using it as your brow highlight. Just want to use it very sparing. And then for my eyeliner, I'm using my favorite L'Oreal Carbon Black Liner Intense. I do a thin line of that on my upper lashes. You could even do dark purple for this. That would be really awesome, but I'm going for black. I'm using my CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume. Make sure to get it on your lower lashes too. Ah, and I almost forgot the most coolest part. Well, I won't call it the coolest part. I don't know. It's pretty cool. You want to take this brush again. You know, 224 type brushes is the one that I have from Sigma. And I'm going to take this color by MAC called Crystal. It's right here. It's almost like a silvery light purple. A very cool purple. And I got it right on the tip of the brush. And then I'm just going to dust it right along this inner tear duct area of my eye. And it creates a really cool glowy um, highlighted effect. Definitely, you probably want to do this before your liner and your mascara. Um, but I just got a little carried away. Alright, so colors I use that kind of complement this look. I find that when I do really bright purple, I never want to do a lot of pink on my cheeks. I don't want to do a lot of actual color. I can't find the blush. Here it is. Awesome blush from NARS. NARS is probably my favorite. I, I love, you know, I love my NARS orgas Orgasm blush. And Madly is kind of right up there. I've done this in my favorites before. I haven't really worn it lately, but it's an awesome color. It's really cool. I mean, it, it looks like nothing. And when you see it in the store, you probably never even think to get it because it doesn't look like anything special whatsoever. But it's actually very flattering on most skin tones and um, it's very, very pretty. I've already applied a little bit, but I'm just going to take a little bit on a brush like this. This one's my Sigma. don't know what the new name is, but it's one that like that. And just lightly swirl it on your cheeks. Um, this is a color that can be a little orangey, so you've got to be careful with it. Definitely, I wouldn't apply it with a brush like this because you might get it too concentrated and just kind of disperses it really nicely and evenly. And you can even blend back over it with a large um, kabuki type brush. And then for my lips, I used one of my absolute favorites, High Tea. Goes with everything. Perfect, perfect color. I would recommend this to anybody. And um, I think this is my first matte lipstick I ever got. Not that one, but that color. You got me. That's it. I hope that y'all enjoyed it, and I'll talk to y'all very soon. Bye.